Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to compress your images to a certain file size target using the Tiny Image plugin in Figma. Um, so the first thing we need to do if you haven't already done so is just go to the Figma community, um, search for the word Tiny Image, so that's T-I-N-Y-I-M-A-G-E and you'll see the result Tiny Image Compressor pop up. If you just click on the install button on the right hand side, um, you'll be ready to go. So once we've done that, we can jump back into our Figma file. Um, I've just got a handful of images in here that I'm going to show you um, what this looks like. So if you just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and click on tiny image and that's just going to fire up the plugin we just installed a minute ago. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all the other features of this plugin. Um, I've got a few other video tutorials on our channel if you want to go through some other features. Today we're just going to be focusing on file size targets. So. Um, by default, the compression is based on percentages or a percentage-based quality, um, but there's going to be times where you actually want to uh, reach a certain file size target, a maximum file size for your image compressions. Um, so we can enable this feature by just clicking on the toggle uh, called Size Target. So I've enabled that, and you can see here that it's changed the settings. So instead of uh, the quality-based percentage slider, we now have an input field for a kilobyte value. So you can toggle between these two, um, but for today we're going to be actually turning that on and seeing what that looks like. So the way it works is you essentially put in the file size target that you want the compression to reach. So um, if we just export these and get a bit of a baseline, so I'm just going to actually turn that off for a second, and I'm just going to export a few images and compress them and see what that file size looks like normally. So we're going to compress these at 90% quality um, and see what that comes out as. So the first one we've got 700 kilobytes, 270. Um, these will probably be similar. Um, so these are at 2x and this is at 1x. Um, so I'm just going to save those. So now we've got the baseline of our compression. Uh, we might realize that we actually want these to be much lower um, or under a certain threshold that this quality isn't going to get us. So if we just rerun the plugin, um, you can either do that from the sidebar over here or by right clicking as we did before. And this time I'm going to change the quality slider um, back to the size targets. And I'm just going to compare what these image file, image file sizes are now. Um, so for example, we've got the uh, Cherry Blossom and Cherry Blossom 2X. So that's 277, 745, 693 and 2 megabytes. Um, so what I might do is I'm actually going to set a global uh, size target for all these. I'm going to make it 500 kilobytes. So this is going to set the default uh, maximum file size target to 500 kilobytes. Um, but what I can also do is I might want one of these images to actually be smaller than that. So I can say for this cherry blossom uh, regular version, it's currently at 277, um, but I actually want that to go down to 200. So I'm going to override the default and make that one 200. Um, the rest I'm going to max out at 500, uh, roughly. So now that we've set our default file size at 500 kilobytes and we've overridden this one image at 200, we can now click the export button once again. And this time it's going to compress the images not using the quality. It's now, you can see there, trying to hit these file size targets. So this one's 500 kilobytes um, is the maximum target and then the next one's 200. And you might have noticed in the label, um, in brackets, it did say that this method is actually uh, a bit slower than the regular quality method. Um, the reason for that is it has to do multiple passes of the compression uh, in order to get the file size down to the optimal size. Um, so you'll notice this more with larger images. Um, so 2x retina ones with large dimensions, these are fairly large. Um, so that's uh, 1700 by 1100. Um, the 1x one should be a little bit faster, um, but it's going to it's going to do multiple passes to get the exact optimal uh, compression level in order for you to reach the maximum quality, but also get just under the uh, ideal target. So you're really getting the pretty much the exact uh, maximum you can get without losing quality, but still getting as close as possible to that target. Um, so we'll just wait for these two to finish up and then we can have a look what they look like um, 
once we actually export the zip file and then have a look at that. Um, so again, the, the two X ones are taking a little bit longer um, just because they are a bit larger, but uh, the one, one X one should be uh, much better. And bearing in mind, these are also taking longer because we're setting uh, a much lower threshold as well. So these were originally three megabytes. We're getting them down to 493 in this case. Um, so just a little bit longer there. So I've just saved that zip file and I'm going to open that one up. And if we jump into the folder, you can see here if we actually compare the two exports. So this was our previous export um, that we did a minute ago. So those are the bigger ones, bigger file sizes. Um, but in here you can see it's actually hit that threshold of exactly uh, 500 for these ones. Um, bearing in mind this this file size is uh, you know, slightly, slightly different to the one we, we put in there, um, but it's it's trying to get there as, as close as possible. So um, this kilobytes here is actually slightly different from the kilobytes um, that are in the plugin. Um, so we've got 201 kilobytes, this is a 500, um, and then we've got the bottom random one as well, uh, which has come out at 489. Um, so that's what that looks like there. Uh, I'm just gonna close those ones off. And uh, I just want to also note that the kilobyte um, compression only works for uh, any image formats that are not PDFs. So PDFs, if you're trying to compress PDFs and wondering why you can't compress the PDFs to a kilobyte size, um, that's the reason. The, the kilobyte size is only for um, you know JPEGs, PNGs, uh, SVGs, uh, AVIF, WebP, that sort of thing. Um, the PDFs, uh, unfortunately, are only based on DPI. So if you do have a PDF export, such as this one, um, you'll be able to choose between 72, 150, and 300 DPI, um, and that will change the, the quality as well. Um, but you can use the size targets for any of the other file uh, formats as well. So that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a single toggle, uh, the size target toggle. And uh, again, you, you might not need to use this all the time. This is really if you have a very specific use case where um, there's certain requirements for a, a project or file type that really do need to get under uh, an exact kilobyte uh, number, then you can use this feature. But otherwise, feel free to continue using the quality uh, slider, which is more just based on a quality ratio. Uh, and you'll still get really good compression. You just won't get the exact numbers that you would with this brand new feature. So um, I hope that's helpful. I know a few of you have been requesting this feature for a little while. Um, so thankfully it's shipped now. You can use it as of today. And uh, I hope that it helps with some of your projects and some of your exports that you've needed this feature for. And uh, until next time, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one.